Please all stand for the morning offering. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Faithful Heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of October. For the Synod, we pray for the Church that she may adopt listening and dialogue as a lifestyle at every level, and allow herself to be guided by the Holy Spirit towards the peripheries of the world. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and also Prison Awareness Sunday. Our Mass Presider is Rev. Father Denichi Hui. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices and your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. strength and my soul. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, Jesus reminds us today that His way is not simply fulfilling the detailed precepts of religious laws. Rather, it is a way of life, a way of loving God and neighbor through concrete acts of service. The theme for this year's Prison Awareness Sunday is the correctional community journeying together in mutual support on a mission of love. Today, we remember that there are people behind prison bars who need to experience the love of God through us. Although we think of prisoners as outcasts of society, they are among those whom God wants us to visit, understand, and sustain in hope. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, 
Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, You shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. 
you shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with a sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your King and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you, the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Hallelujah. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Pakibati naman ng katabi. Magandang umaga. Magandang umaga po. Happy Sunday po. A blessed Sunday to everyone. Masaya po ba kayo? Siyempre, long weekend. Ano po? Uh, but uh, bukas... Uh, Boboto tayo. Oh, make sure na bumoto ng maayos at ng wasto. Ipagdasal nyo po yung iboboto ninyo ngayon. Kung wala pa po kayong naiisip na iboto, mas lalong magdasal. Huh? Kung hindi ka boboto, magdasal na lang din. Oh, magdasal. Ipagdasal ang ating barangay, ang ating komunidad. Na po. So, yan po yung ating intensyon ngayong araw na ito. Pagdasal po natin ang ating maliit na komunidad. I'd like to start our reflection for today with a story. And this Sunday, my story is about a wife and a husband. One day, the wife asked her husband to buy her a comb, suklay, so that she could fix and grow her hair well. Naglambing yung misis, bilan mo naman akong suklay para gumanda pa yung buhok ko, mapahaba ko pa yung buhok ko, at maayos ko yung buhok ko. But her husband could not afford to buy her a comb and felt very sorry about it. He even explained that he does not have money to buy even a strap of his old watch, nor even have it fixed at least. Di ko nga mapagawa yung relo ko. Wala akong pambili man lang ng strap ng relo ko. After hearing her husband's explanation, she did not insist anymore. The next day, as the husband was going to work, he passed by a watch shop and went inside. He sold his old and damaged watch so that he could buy his wife a comb. In the evening, he came home with his surprise for his wife. But to his surprise, he saw that his wife's hair were cut short. So he asked his wife, why did she cut her hair? I bought you your comb. Why did you cut your hair? The wife replied with a smile, I sold my hair to buy you a new strap for your watch. And tears fell on their eyes, not on the futility of their actions, 
Naiyak sila hindi dahil walang kwenta yung ginawa nila. But because of the love that they have for each other. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the message of our readings for today. It's all about love. Could you say that? Love. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, love. Yan, pinapagising ko lang yung katabi mo. No? <laughs> it's all about love. And we heard in our gospel that Jesus is being tested by a scholar of the law, asking him, which of the commandments in the law is the greatest? Imagine a scholar of the law asking Jesus about the law. Talagang alam mong may masamang balak eh o hindi magandang balak itong tao na to. Scholar ka ng batas, eksperto ka, pero nagtatanong ka tungkol sa batas. Para bang lawyer ka tapos nagtatanong ka tungkol sa batas? Imposible. Dapat alam mo. Alam mo ang batas. But in this case, Jesus answered the question of the scholar of the law. Madalas kasi, ibinabalik lang ni Jesus ang tanong kapag alam niyang sinusubok siya. Hindi niya sinasagot. Ibinabalik niya yung tanong. But in this case, Jesus answered the question. Sa pagkakataong iyon, ginamit ni Jesus ang panahon na iyon hindi rang para sagutin ang tanong, kundi para ituro sa kanila kung ano ang pinakamahalagang batas. Para kasi sa mga eksperto ng batas, walang dapat pinapalampas. Lahat importante sa batas. Bawat letra, bawat isa. Eh, noon panahon na yon, merong 600 plus na batas. At pinapabuod nila iyon kay Jesus. Tinatanong alin sa napakaraming batas na yon ang pinakamahalaga. Pero hindi mo maloloko si Jesus. Hindi mo masusubok si Jesus. Dahil alam ni Jesus ang lahat. Kaya binuod ni Jesus sa dalawang batas, ang 600, more than 600 laws. As he say, or he said, the first and the greatest commandment is, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That is the first and the greatest. And the second is, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Having heard this, there are three kinds of love that we could get from Jesus' answer. Three kinds of love. The first, the love of God, which should always be the first. Always. Always the first. And the second, the love of neighbor. And the last, the love of self. Ito po yung tatlong pag-ibig na binuod ni Jesus. Ito yung tatlong pag-ibig na bumubuod sa lahat ng batas. At itong tatlong pag-ibig na ito ang pinakabuod ng batas. At hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin. Hindi magkakahiwalay o hindi magkakaiba sa isa't isa. Kundi ang tatlong ito dapat pare-parehas na mahalaga. Kailangan lang malinaw kung sino ang dapat iniuuna. Diyos, kapwa, at sarili. Mahalaga po na mahalin din ang sarili. Hindi puro kapwa. Kaya sa mga nabubulagan dyan sa pag-ibig, paalala, 
mahalin din ang sarili. Sa mga nabubulagan, mahalin din ang sarili. Sa mga niloloko, mahalin din ang sarili. Sa mga inaabuso, mahalin din ang sarili. Pero, hindi pwedeng iniuuna ang sarili bago ang Diyos. Bigyan ng panahon ang Diyos. Hindi puro sarili. Hindi puro trabaho. Hindi puro gawaing bahay. Hindi puro lakwacha. O kung ano-ano para sa sarili. Unahin ang Diyos bago ang sarili. At hindi din pwedeng iniuna ang kapwa bago ang Diyos. Sa mga nakikipag-date dyan, pero hindi makapagsimba, o oh, paalala, una dapat ang Diyos. Magsimba muna bago makipag-date. Simba muna, magdasal muna, linggo ngayon, bago mamasyal, bago maglakwacha, bago ang pamilya. Una pa din ang Diyos. Kaya naman, kung pag-ibig lang ang pag-uusapan, pinapaalala ni Moises ang turo ng Diyos sa ating unang pagbasa na ang kagandahang loob ang siyang laman ng pag-ibig. Love should always be kind. As the Lord said, you shall not molest or oppress. Huwag kang mangmolestya at huwag kang mangaapi. Kahit na sino, Diyos, kapwa o sarili, huwag mong momolestyahin o huwag mong aapihin. Do not abuse God. Do not molest God. Sa mga puro hingi, makinig. Marami sa atin, no? puro hingi. Minumolest siya ang Diyos. Sa kakahingi, hindi pa nga nagpapasalamat, hingi na agad. O nagtatampo sa Diyos, no? pero hindi naman marunong magsimba. Kasi hindi lang napagbigyan, ay pang mumolest siya yan. Sometimes, no, we fall short na we tend to abuse God because we feel that God is always merciful. God is always kind. Yes, mabuti ang Diyos, pero wag mong abusuhin. Love God. At kung paano mahalin ang Diyos? With all your strength, with all your mind, with all your heart. Hanggang kaya nating sabihin yung Salmo Responsorio. I love the Lord, my strength. Ganyan natin dapat mahalin ng Diyos, buong lakas. At ganyan natin kayang sabihin sa Diyos, I love you, Lord, with all my strength. Never abuse others, never molest others, not even ourselves. Minsan kasi, sa sobrang Pagmamahal natin sa ating sarili, naaabuso na rin natin ang ating sarili. Oh, never. We should love ourselves as well as we love others. For love should always have good intentions. Therefore, love should always be kind. Para malaman mo kung marunong kang magmahal, Look at your actions. Is it all about kindness? Nagagawa ka bang mabuti ng kinakasama mo? Nagagawa ka bang mabuti ng pamilya mo? Ng kapwa mo? If you are becoming kind, then you know how to love. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the message of our readings for today. To love is to be kind for kindness is the language of love amen please all stand and together we profess our faith 
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, He rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God gave us the commandment of love as our guide in everything we do. In faith, let us implore His help through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let our response be, Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. That the church, through the Pope, the bishops and priests, and the entire people of God, may be a channel of God's love, that with this love, she may continue to seek out the sinners, the prisoners and their victims, the unlovable and the lost. We pray. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. That our government leaders and those tasked to implement and execute our laws from our president, legislators, judicial authorities, and local government officials down to the police and armed forces may always be aware that their authority is God-given and that they may exercise it with love, tempered with justice, mercy, and respect for the dignity of all. We pray. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor that those who have been deprived of love through violence or self-pity may be touched and transformed by God's grace and human kindness. We pray. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. That parents and families may make their homes a haven of love and nurture children in genuine love and in turn share this love with others. We pray. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. That those tasked to care for the prisoners, the jail and prison personnel from the Bureau of Corrections, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, and down to the provincial jail guards, may do their job conscientiously, and that they would consider it more as a mission rather than just unemployment. We pray. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor that those who are actively involved in the prison ministry, the chaplains and volunteers in prison service throughout the country may continue to give hope to the prisoners and their victims 
through their life of love and service. We pray. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We also pray for Israel, the war that is happening, the people who are affected by the war, and those who have died because of the war. We pray. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. Lord, your love gave us life and salvation. Help us to follow your greatest commandment, to love you above all things and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. May we continue to give hope to our fellow humans, especially the prisoners and their victims through our life of love and service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. from 
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Today, as we celebrate Prison Awareness Sunday, we shall be having a second collection to support the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines Episcopal Commission on Prison Pastoral Care. You are all invited to the following parish activities. The month of November, especially All Souls Day, is a traditional time to pray and visit the graves of our loved ones. In line with this, those who would like to get a copy of the family prayer in visiting the cemetery may get it from our greeters and collectors after the Mass. Envelopes for prayer intentions for our departed loved ones are available at the front door of the church. All prayer intentions will be offered in all Masses for the whole month of November. As November 1 draws near once more, we Catholics are reminded that it is not appropriate to participate in Halloween parties. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 22 Avoid any semblance of evil. Let us celebrate All Saints Day by knowing and imitating the saints in our lives. Thank you for your attention. Please all stand. Muli, paalala, kung meron kang iboboto bukas, yun yung taong marunong magmahal. Hindi nang momolestya. Because love or because kindness is the language of love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. As I sing my heart's thanksgiving in my eyes of heaven how the stars you flung like jewels, then you welcome, shine your light as a marvel at your moonrise. I may know, yet I ask, what am I that you should love me?